next batsman running down the pitch up. Edged and gone. Yunus Khan, good catcher at second slip. This was low and straight to him. Mohamed Asif has a wicket now. Both England's openers in the shed. Yunus Khan, no mistake. What a good catch. All the work that Cameron Akmal has done pays off, as does the consistent line from this man, Mohamed Asif, who Imran Khan rates as the brightest fast bowling talent in Pakistan since Waka Yunus and Wazim Akram. This is really good cricket. Again, committing Strauss to play at the ball, enough movement and an excellent sprawling catch. Joy on the face. Jaffa, you wouldn't be blaming Kevin Peterson, that moved so late and was the perfect length, again committing him to play. This guy can really bowl. In Mohamed Asif, Pakistan have something special. This is why Inzaman wanted to bowl first. Oh, look at that. You might say that Peterson should have looked to defend, but in the end, he's undone by real skill. Plenty of pace too. Might have bowled him, you know, on another day. What exciting moments these are for Pakistan. Nothing for... Oh, that's so close to LBW. It is LBW. Wonderful fast bowling. We are really seeing the value of pitching the ball up. It's a lesson that anybody who can propel it quick should learn, and it's one that Mohamed Asif has learnt young. Pulsan Huddle is the most joyous of the summer so far. That, I'm afraid, is stone dead. No argument from anybody, least of all, I suspect, Paul Collingwood. And England's dressing room. Conditions here, I... Oh, well bowled. Well bowled. Beautifully bowled. Just left him off the scene, and uh, he couldn't... Oh, got to be close, unless... No, gone. What a bonus before T, the last ball before T. Michael Clark goes driving just a touch airily at Mohamed Asif, and that's good reward for him. And as I say, a huge bonus for Pakistan. That's the length. That certainly was not going over the top. Not in my opinion anyway. A bit fuller, brings the batsman onto his front foot. Is there a chance that possibly with the slope it could have been going a bit further down the leg stump? Well, that's close. Yes, Hawkeye suggesting it just might have missed the leg stump. Again, because of the slope, the ball tends to go a bit further. Down. Gone. Found the right length and, of course, the line. Good delivery. Beautiful piece of bowling from Ahmad Asif and good keeping from Kamran Akmal. The supporters are happy. This is a vital breakthrough that Pakistan has got. Courtesy, a brilliant delivery. Angle away from the left-hander, and it really had to be a good delivery to dismiss a stubborn, a stout, a resilient catch. That's it. Right through the gap. A better length. Batsman coming forward. That's why he's so good against the left-handers. His track record is improving all the time when it comes to picking up the left-handers. This really was from the top draw. It was relentless pressure that uh, really had the better of the batsmen in the end. Comprehensively bowled, Marcus North. Another leap of victory for Mohamed Asif. Very early for North. Now it's just hard and the wicket up. Got him this time. He's a little bit wider, not quite so full. And Shane Watson, a little bit in the same way as he uh, played in the One Day Internationals against England, has got himself nicely in. Over bowling. Just swung, but it was full. It dragged him into the drive. And look where he hop catches that. Chest height. I think the wicket has got that extra pace and bounce in it at the moment. Very well bowled and well, very threatening. Shane Watson. He's taking it. Action from Mohamed Asif. 
Gambir was looking to smack him down the ground. He takes it on the second attempt. And Pakistan strike early. Two overs for Asif. He struck twice. Uh, India in a spot of ball and nine for two. And this is how he was dismissed. Really a nothing shot from Sevag. What to play? So Mohammad Asif. That's chipped in the air. Should be taken. It's off the leading edge. Yuvraj goes. Shoaib Malik, the captain, making no mistake. Trying to work the ball away towards the leg side, leading edge, no problems for Shoaib Malik, a lot of problems for India.